What is going on? Gutters Live coming at you with another video. If this is your first time watching, welcome. If you're a turning viewer, welcome back. So anyways, I have a pretty good setup already. I'm not going to lie and say I don't, but there's some stuff that I wanted to improve. So over these past couple months, I've been doing my research, seeing what all I wanted to exactly get. Before I show you my new and improved setup, I'm going to show you my current setup. That way you all can see what I've changed and what I've improved. Here's the TV that I use as a Samsung watching some Mission Impossible right now. Moving over to my desk area, here's my Asus 27 inch monitor, 80 million to one contrast ratio, one millisecond response time. There's the connect for my Xbox One. Here's the controller for my Xbox One. And there is my Xbox One. This Turtle Beach headset is really cool because it actually works with both these consoles. There's my Xbox 360 along with the controller for it. And then here is my Astro A40 headphones. Here's the Elgato HD60 capture card, which I use. There's the current mouse I have, along with the Apple Watch, and then my laptop. So like I said, I've been making YouTube videos and live streaming on Twitch using my laptop. It's about five years old and has a Intel i5 processor and Windows 7 operating system. Here's the chair I use, nothing special, but it's just the most comfortable one they had at the store, and it fits me really good. So here's one final look at my setup. Some of this stuff's gonna stay, some of this stuff's gonna go. I'm gonna let you all see my new setup in three, two, one. So here we go, my new and improved upgraded setup. It looks absolutely amazing. Let's walk through it real quick. So here's the stuff I still have. Xbox One along with a Kinect hooked up to my 27 inch Asus monitor two headsets and a controller for the one, my iPhone and Apple Watch, 360 along with the controller, and my laptop. So here are the new additions. A Beast PC, I'll go over all the components and specs in just one second. This thing is a beast, bro, a beast. I love it. Anyways, got my PC hooked up to these two monitors, rocking dual monitors, they are Asus 28 inch 4K monitors, one millisecond response time, and the refresh rate out of the box was 30 hertz, and I was able to get it up to 60 hertz. Here's my keyboard, Black Widow Chroma. Love this keyboard, especially at night. You can sort of see right now in the daytime the background lighting. I got the wave pattern going on right now. And then I just got this mouse, it's a Logitech. Razer is going to be coming out with a new mouse called the Mamba and they have a wired and wireless edition so I'm probably going to pick up one of those once they are released but anyways here's one last look at my new and improved upgraded setup now let's go over the components of my PC so here we go here's the PC up close let's see if you can see inside or if there's too much reflective action going on this is the best I got right now. I'm not gonna take off the side panel. But anyways, here's all the components. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description box below. Let's start at the top. The motherboard is the Asus X99. It's a USB 3.1. This thing is phenomenal quality. Next, we have the processor. It's an i7 5820K. They have one other i7 that is a little higher quality, but this 5820K is more than enough for what I'm going to be doing. After that, the graphics card, we have the 970. As you can see, 970 power and two 4K monitors right now. Looks really good. And by the way, I'm watching the Black Ops 3 multiplayer going on at GamesCon. So after the graphics card, we have the power, 850 watt. <clears throat> After that, we have the case. You can see right here, the side panel is clear on one side, and then here's a view of the front. Here's a view of the top. Some different USB ports, power button, buttons to control the fans, and then here is, here's the back also of the motherboard. All the different ports I have, USB, HDMI, stuff like that. Coming up next, we're gonna have the solid state drive. I got the 250. They had a 500 also, but 250 is plenty. Then just a standard DVD, Blu-ray player, Asus. Right now I'm using the Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Windows 10 did come out last week, so I'll be upgrading to that in a couple of months once they work out all the kinks. 
Next, the liquid cooling I have is Corsair H100i. Not sure if you can see the lines in there, but basically cools the computer through heat transfer. And then I also have these fans. You can see one fan right here, then another fan in the front, one in the back, and two up top. And that's where the red lights are coming from. Got the light fans instead of the LED lights just around the case. Then I have four terabytes. Oh no, then we go into the RAM. I have uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's plenty. And then finally, I have four terabytes of storage to go along with the solid state. About to wrap up this video, but anyways, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll get you an answer ASAP, whether it's about the PC, the monitors, my desk, chair, you know, keyboard, anything like that. Just comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe for more content in the future. Social media links to Twitter and Instagram down in the description box, as well as the link to my second channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.